are loving this. Let's get back to you. Here she comes. Sharon, what a great collection this is. And what a great price. It's, it's an amazing, amazing price, price for, for the versatility, versatility of this collection. collection. So um, I was like, wow, everybody needs this in their crafty kit. So, so what, what am I might do is, is I might just go straight in and show, show explain, explain the concept, concept and absolutely. how to make um, a basic card using a basic concept. concept. So what I'm going to do is I have a card base here that it's just the white stamping card and it's six by six inches. So I'm going to hold up the die to the card. So when you hold it up, you can see that the die itself is about five, five and a quarter and five and a quarter. So when you're making your card base, what you have to ensure is that there's enough space above and below because your stamp is taller than the die itself. So once you remember that, you'll be fine. So the card I'm going to make is going to be a curved card. So I have taken another piece of card that is longer than the six by six as you can see but they're the same height so that's important ensure they're the same height so this is six by six but this here is eight inches so six by eight and six by six so i put the card base aside for the moment and we're going to concentrate on placement of the die and then we're going to cut that out so on our six by eight we need to center our die here so I'm going to face it down I'm going to line it up again ensuring because these are the stamps that come with the die so if you want to check alignment just place it over just to see and as you can see I've got about five mil at the top and I will have five mil at the bottom so put that to the side I'm going to stick this down and then we're going to run this through the Gemini I'm going to put the tape on the inside because that bit will cut away. So if it gets cut with the tape, it won't matter. So I'm using the um, larger Gemini here, and I'm just going to place that in, and we'll run that through really quick. So that's how easy it is to create the basis of this card. And with the eight inches against the six by six card, when you fold it, or curve it you get an, an, a nice curve you can get a deeper curve by maybe going six by nine or six by ten inch so i've just chosen six at the moment right so i'm going to bring this in and you'll see how easy it is to get the die off now as you can see this is where i had the tape so that comes away that your your dubbins or your bits and pieces they're gone away and what you're left with then is your sentiment in the center with your die on the top and bottom. So the next process is now with that to move a little bit, but we can't see that. So I'm going to bring this in, which is my um, the large stamp and platform, and I'm going to secure with the magnets the die cut, because this is where we're going to do the stamping. So what I'm going to do then is I get my butterflies, and I'm just going to align them onto the die because I will be picking these up with the stamp platform so I know then that when I stamp it back down they're where I need them to be so just line them up now I'm just going to stamp this with the um, I'm actually going to use the black quick drying for this because I absolutely love that part so we're going to take up the stamps and then we're going to get our harmony uh, ink and we're going to stamp that on so ink that up now i'm using black you can of course use any color that you want i just like the the the, the black line for when i'm coloring and we're going to stamp that back down so just give it a little press top and bottom and when you lift you can check yep that's fine now i missed a little bit there so i can go back in with the stamp platform and just set that corn. Perfect. So we uh, left it side. So that's how it stamps. So all we do now is take it off the stamp platform. And then we're going to have to crease down the sides of this. So I'm going to go in about, uh, about uh, two or three millimeters. I've done a crease here, but I'm 
out like that. And then we come around the other end and we fold that back as well. So these tabs will be placed on the backing sheet that's loaded over the part. So once you have that much done, then we're going to come in with our tri blends and we're going to color up the butterfly. And it's only when the colors are added that we can see the impact that the detail in the butterflies have. So just really gently. So I'm going to do pinks and, and green. So color all that in. And when you have that colored, I'm going to do is just to speed things up a bit. This is what you end up with. So this is your, your, your card base. Now, the center sentiment here, I want to stand out a little bit more. So what I've done is I've ran a sheet of colored card just over the sentiment in the die and just snipped away all the waste. So I have that, and I'm going to place that over the sending uh, blessings that's there. So you can mat and layer up these different colors. You could even... Do two colors that have the sending in one color and the blessing in another. You know, have fun with it, like rainbow. And this works great as well with my uh, petal papers because you can get ombre tones for that. So look, just align that over. And then that's ready to assemble onto our cart. Now it's going to give a little one a crease again. And then I'll show you how quick and easy it is to assemble the cart. So I'll just give that another crease on that one and turn it around and give that a crease. Now, we're going to use the red liner tape on this, I think. So on the inside, we're going to put a strip of red liner and we'll give that a snip. We'll cut that red liner tape is strong and it holds um, quite well, and if you were to do a shaker cut, I would recommend using the red liner tape because it holds acetate perfectly in place. So we just remove the backing of these the statics, and we'll be walking around all these stuppers. Right, so just come in here. Now, that's ready for the card itself. So what you've got to do is you pack in your card base, but I've also cut six by six sheet of pattern paper that I'm actually going to layer over a plain uh, piece of stamping card just for strength. So I'll just use the tape pen there for that. So this is our background. So you need a background because it will lift the sentiment. You know, you can see then the, the effect of it a lot clearer. So don't come in. We're just going to align that there quite easily. And then this is where the magic happens. So we're just going to um, crease again to bring up the back and align that one as well. So we just step it, stick it down, ensuring that it's aligned at the top and the bottom. Then you can go behind it and give it a little press down like that. And then... Give it a little press on the sides. That's how we get our. So we're going to add this then just to the card base to finish off. And I'll just add, you can add any um, decorations, embellishments to enhance it. So place that down on the card base. Secure it in place. And you see you have room to put your hand in there. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to add just a little bit of foliage, and this is one of the flower fairy flowers that um, we have. Come, it's on the website, it's coming up later on. I'm gonna place this at the top, and then um, just that on. Just a little bit of tree gel with that. And then that's it, that's that simple card quite effective and as you can see the sentiment is floating there now you cook with acetate like that if you want or um, stop in the bottom and then you can maybe fill that with a little sweet or put flowers behind it but it's just the basis of what 
can do the basic function of the deck. I absolutely love that, Sharon. Great with the heartfelt greetings collection. Remember, you're going to get, you're paying for two, you're getting two for free. Happy birthday. You're also getting sending blessings, thinking of you, and thank you as well. Now, remember, they are available individually. They are available on a multi-buy as well. Two for £26 or $29. But alternatively, you might as well go for the bundle because for an extra few pounds, an extra few dollars, you're going to get all four. Remember, head to the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.eu. Click shop the show. You can see everything that is available for you in Craft Chat and Create this morning with the wonderful Sharon Callis all the way in lovely Ireland. I love it. Uh, we've got some great deals for you as well, including these with the wonderful uh, Flower Fairies, a beautiful collection. They are half price today. This wonderful, with the wonderful Jasmine. Here she is. Now, as Debbie was saying earlier this morning, the stamp and dies. No fussy cutting is required. You can mat and layer of these. You can do whatever you wish because everything is there for you. You've got the dies to cut out the stamps. You can make multiple layers. You can make them as large as you want, as 3D as you want. Uh, and it's half price. Plus, as well, you also get in here the orange jasmine as well. Another little die, which is going to allow you to create these wonderful 3D flowers. So we've got some great deals on these flowers for you today as well. This is £16.49, $18.95. Half price on that. Alternatively, you may want to go for the wonderful Asta as well. I mean, another Asta. We love Asta. Again, another great collection. That same principle, cut and uh, die and stamp again matte and layer it make it as large as you want this wonderful little fairy here you make the fair you can stick the wing straight on and her body's been lifted to give it that 3d effect plus as well the wonderful aster flower die as well and remember half price 16 pounds 49 18 dollars 95 half price you're going to get both of these for the same price as if you got one add them both into your basket a great collection for you this morning and available all day uh, a lot of love for sharon a uh, lot of saying that uh, scrap papers is on youtube YouTube, very cool effect. I love that. June Woodhouse on Facebook. Great demo. Thank you, Lynn Harvey. Pretty car. Remember, any questions you've got for Sharon or you just want to say hello, uh, comment below, Facebook and YouTube, and we'll read those comments out for you. Again, another great collection, and what a ridiculously low price. 70% saving, $34.99, $48.99. Guys, there are so many flowers within this. Again, you can buy them individual, you can buy them in smaller bundles, but for that 70% saving, you would be mad not to go for anything else. All designed to get this. Now, these, I will tell you more about these, and I'm sure if you've got any questions about the wonderful, we're starting first off with the little China, uh, with these, the sensational, sensational succulents. Um, that's a little uh, snail's egg uh, in the succulents. There you are. It's die cut out straight like this. You get the die, and then you can fold it there on the alternating, and when you get it together, you can create this. Do you know what I think these always be great for? Not only as plants, but as dinosaur tails. You know, if you're making dinosaur cards, you can use it like little dinosaur things on the side. I just love little ideas like that. Uh, that's the little china. You've got the baby aloe. Uh, baby aloe, uh, aloe vera, again, these beautiful papers, and uh, such a great idea and such a great concept. Uh, you've also got the neon breaker as well. Beautiful flowers, I mean, perfect for those spring cards, for those summer cards, even winter cards, again. And I mean, as well with this, the jade, a beautiful card, beautiful uh, die for you on the succulent collection. Also, I mean, this is Debbie's favourite, and it's mine as well. It is, of course, the wonderful sword grass. It's got that feel. It looks and feels like real grass, and it's just paper. And that is what I love, when we take paper and make it into something more than it is. And the Merry Maiden, again, rounding off this great collection. Absolutely stunning in the wonderful succulent collection. Plus, if that wasn't enough for you, you're also going to get in here stamps and dies. Again, you can have any fussy cutting because you get the stamps and dies in here. Perfect for you to make your hand mark, hand mark, make your cards, make your gifts. 30 different elements in there. These are the succulents. This is rounding up that collection for you there. $34.99, $48.99. I'm just looking at my cards here and going, well, yeah, there are there is smaller options available. Smaller succulents. Uh, there's loads more as well. I do have the other packs as well. I'm just teasing you. I was just testing you guys. And I felt like I'd build it up for you, give you a little taster, and then go, let's have a look at what else you get in this collection. My goodness, there is loads more, isn't there? Do you know what it is, Erin? I knocked them all off on the floor, and they all knocked on the floor, that's why. And I dropped them, and I got confused. It's when I was showing that lovely, pretty picture of Sharon, I knocked them all on the floor <laughs> earlier on. Uh, I've just picked them up. There is loads more, isn't there? 
What am I like? What am I like indeed? And um, you're also going to be getting in here some even more brilliant items. You are now getting in here some breast and brilliant embossing folders for you as well to add to your collections, to make them look amazing. You've got here the wonderful uh, garden frame. You've also got the succulent frame again, another brilliant embossing. And I love embossing because it just takes it to the next level for your cards. You've also as well got the terrarium as well, another fantastic embossing folder and really unbrattled really on trend at the moment, a lot of indoor plants um, really on trend for those wonderful cards what you may be making. Also as well, more embossing folders for you, again with a Geo Wire Trellis, again another great collection and perfect for this collection as well. And then the tags, I mean this is just great, as a die set, what a brilliant little thing. So you can put these on your own plants in the house, maybe you put them on your cards and who says it has to be used with plants? You've got the wonderful uh, gift and pot tags and labels, you've also got these, the plant pot pokes as well, perfect for what they do on the tin, however you can use these for anything with it in your crafting. Maybe you're making, you're buying those brand new camper van uh, silhouettes earlier, later on, you can use it as a place sign of where you're heading. Again, what can you do with them? And there's also the plant pot, perfect, you know, maybe a new baby card, that'd be great, little baby, bring you life, but the plant pot, uh, a great collection and so much within it. I forgot how much was in this collection and what a ridiculous price as well. 70% off, $34.99, $48.99. Remember the clear pay option as well, four installments of £8.75 for you guys in the UK. Plus, not only have you got that massive 70% off, Club Inspire discounts still in apply in this. If you're platinum, an extra 20% off, what a ridiculously low price. Sharon, this is a beautiful collection and I love the flowers and that left that grass as well the sword grass what was the inspiration behind that i am not in any way a gardener and house plants for me they don't survive but i wanted something pretty and versatile something i can use all year round and this is where i came up with the concept because i was in a store and i was looking at all these succulent plants and i was surprised at the price of some of them and i said well we can't have this. Why not we get together and we design something that we can that will allow us to create our own, and in that way, then we have them all year round, and we can give them to friends, we can give them to family, and um, we can use them for card making, we can use them for home decor. So there's a lot in this collection: the jam packs, the stamps, the dies, the plant pots, the tags. It's an all-in collection for anybody who wants to create their succulent. Perfect. I uh, just want to make you aware of that price that you're seeing on the screen. You're basically, you're going to be paying for these. That's what you're paying for. You're paying for the embossing folders and you're also paying for the uh, stamps and dies. That price you're seeing on the screen, that's what you're paying for. Everything else is coming absolutely free. All those different uh, succulents, all the different embossing folders, all the different dies, absolutely free. Uh, Sharon, have you got some wonderful examples to show us what you've made? I do. Just to show you how you can mix and match this collection and the different effects that you can get by using all the elements or just using one simple element. So the first sample that I have on this, you can see, look, the stamps were used to create the background paper. How cool is that? So you could do that in any color, in any shades, any tones, create your own. Then we have our tags here. Um, you don't have to use them with the plant pod, you can use them on their own. But again, like you said earlier, here we have the sword grass, we have the baby aloe, and we have the merry maiden. Next card then, look at this. We've got our plant pot, and that is the main feature. But these are all the stamps, they're stamped, and there are outline dies, you cut them. So using those on their own as well, you can use these to make a card, and again, our background um, stamps were used there to create a gorgeous background. The embossing folders, they're quite, they have a lot of detail in them. So use them with your textured card stuff, your plain card stuff. Why not ink them up or distress them? Or you can get out your um, spectrum noirs and add inks into the detail and things. So look, here's another detail of the stand added into that. Then of course we have our terrarium and we have our tag, quite simple. Just a few flowers in the front and the jade. And this one here, I absolutely adore this one. Very simple. It's just our plant pot. And then you can stack your plants into this when you create them. So that as a card. Or why not create a home decor piece? Look at this gorgeous frame. 
their English frame, like it's just to say thinking of you blooming. So you were able to mix and match the flowers, the embossing folder, the stamp, the die, all the elements. So there's loads that you can do with these. There's uh, no limits. Absolutely, and a great collection. And do you know what? A lot of love for the, what we've got here in the studio as well, with the lovely little wheelbarrow and the lovely plant. I mean, they're such a great collection and such a beautiful idea. And, you know, taking it off the card, making 3D models. I mean, look at the little wheelbarrow. A lot of love for this earlier. It works as well. Look at that. It wheels and everything. Again, and that's made possible. They're not real plants. It's made possible possible by those wonderful dies all available for you today remember that ridiculously priced 34.99 $48.99 70% off plus look at that platinum price as well if you're club inspired platinum £27.99 $39.19 you are getting so much for your money I mean when I was talking to Debbie Robinson about this earlier she could not believe the price and she remembers buying it when it first came out you are getting an absolute steal of a price today you're going to be able to make some amazing things all possible from the Sharon Callis range um, and talking to Sharon Callis Sharon I think it's time we saw these amazing dies and collections in action yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you first the concept behind the dye yes. and the assembly of a flower. So what I've, what I've got is I have the baby aloe dye. Now, for those who haven't seen these dyes before, you may be familiar with quillen dyes. Now, traditionally with a quillen dye, you would get a single dye, so it would be like one side. You would have had to cut two of those strips. Then you would have to spend time gluing one on top of the other, aligning the top layer over the gaps of the bottom layer, letting that dry, and then you would have had to quill it. And as you were quilling, the layers would split, the alignment would be all out of place, but that's gone with this concept. It's just one cut, one fold, one roll. So when you cut it, this is what you end up. So this is our double-sided die, and I'm just going to add a little bit of inking to this, just to add shape. So, we do have um, petal pads, but I uh, have had questions from people online about, well, if I just use my own cardstock, how can I shade these up? And it's quite simple. So we're just going to concentrate on one side first. So just using my harmony pad, and this one is the um, so, uh, grasshopper. So I'm just adding tone to the top of the. So just working my way down. Now you can always go back and add more color. I don't think that it's strong enough. I'm happy with that because I just want to color the tips of this. Now I don't need to color this side because it's going to be folded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to go down this side. Now that might look a little bit odd, but you'll see why I've done that when I go to fold. You can, of course, ink both sides if you want to, but for speed, I'm just doing the one. So now that I've inked up the strip, I'm going to concentrate on the center line. And the center line is where you fold. So you just work your way along. And then once, you, once you've done that, you can see that the ink on both layers is on the same side and the alignment is all done for you. Now, I'm just going to give these a little pinch. There is a little uh, crease line in the die just to help you out with this, just to give it um, a little more of a realistic look. Now, now I'm using double-sided cardstock here that's the same color on both sides, and I'd recommend that because when you fold it in half, you if, you, if the patterns won't be uh, faced in the same way. Now, if you want a vintage look, to your plants, um, if you do use double-sided paper, you can get one of those um, nice sepia kind of tone papers. It works quite well. So I'm using the three millimeter red liner tape. And this is because it's a textured cardstock and it, it's, it's a little bit heavier than uh, standard cardstock. So just for strength, and um, if you use liquid glue, and if you use liquid glue, only put a little bit at the top, a bit in the middle, and a little at the end, because glue travels when you speak. Right, so I'm going to load it up on the quilling tool. 
Now, one um, important thing, if it doesn't go on your quilling tool, don't panic. Just put the pokey tool in the centre of the prongs just to spread them out a little bit. So it depends on the thickness of your cardstock. You always start to quilt on the smallest petal. And as you turn, give it a little squeeze just at the top. Don't roll and pull too tight. Just let it naturally. I'm not putting a lot of grip into the quilling tool. I'm just letting it turn. I'm giving the top petals a little squeeze and then we can just continue on down. And then just follow the line, take your time. As I said, don't put too much pressure on it. Don't roll it or squeeze it too tight. And then when you get to the end, secure it in place, give it a little pinch. And then that's your uh, succulent. So while it's still on the quilling tool, then you just go around and you spread out the petals. And look how simple and easy that is. The alignment is all done for you. You don't have to worry about spacing them out. There is flexibility in them for you to, uh, or wiggle room, for want of a better word. And that is our baby aloe plant. That's ready now to go on to the sample. So I'll just clear this out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, um, we're going to use the craft card stock. It's an A4 sheet folded in half and that's going to be our card base. And on top of that, then, we are going to put um, matting layer up. So it's just some cream uh, card stock and some tape in on that. This is, it doesn't take a lot in the background to show these uh, plants up. Base. I've taken some of the textured cardstock. I've used the um, this embossing fold here. So to bring out the detail on this, I'm going to go back and use my ink. I don't want to oversaturate. I don't really keep on the camera now because my lighting is a bit. There we go. We can see it a little bit better. So there is a lot of detail in this. You can pick out the individual elements. I'm just going to use my dauber on the grasshopper and I'm just going to go around the edge that, and bring it around. I'm going to leave the center of it uninked. Now you can go back again and add um, other tones to, to that for more detail. So we bring back in our card bits and then we're going to um, just to We just line that up into the center, press that down. So that's our background. And then we're going to start building up some of our plants. So I've got the jade here, and I've got um, the uh, Merry Maiden, and I've got my baby aloe. And then I have a neon breaker here as well. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to just assemble this one. And then we're going to use the plant pot. Right. So, curve that up. Again, I'm going to go in with the red liner tape. And you see how quick and easy it is to, to cut, to fold and assemble these flowers. And it takes a succulent, I should say. These in a little clam pot or into a little glass terrarium. You, you see them in all those um, discount stores. There are a lot in at the moment. You can put them in. And you don't have to use card, card stock itself as well. You can actually use uh, vellum. Use, um, sorry, just to get that off. Perfect. So you can use vellums. You can actually use fabric as well. If you want to make these with uh, felt you can I recommend using the synthetic felt you know the one that you can get in the um, the children's stores that that's quite thin and robust because the wool um, felt has a tendency to fall apart when it's cut so again just bring that out here now I'm, I'm not going to open it up too much it's just enough but it was that way right now we're going to assemble these. So I've got my clamp pot. And before I fix this to the base, right, I'm going to use foam pads, but I'm going to curve it 
just to add a little bit of dimension to it. And then I'm going to come back with my ink pad and just distress it a little bit. I'm not being too particular because I want little um, undulations in the ink color going around it just to give it some shadow. So just give that a bit. You can distress it as well if you want, but there we get curve. Now, I'm going to add some foam pads to the rear of it. So I'm just going to stick them in the middle because I want to have the tip of vampire touching the card. So we're going to place that here in the center, right? So that is your card center. And then we're just going to add our plants. So you have room here because I haven't secured that so that we can add in the plants and tuck them in underneath. So with the shade, just a bit of the 3D uh, gel. Just place that under. And then I sword grass here as well. So the sword grass is just a single die and look how quick this is to assemble as well. I'll show you. Actually I do have I'm going to use the tape pen. You can actually use the tape pen on, on this but quite nice. So very simply you will see. look how quick it is just to make grass. Just roll it down. Now you can use this as well other cards, you know, it look um, cool using it as grass, you know, little bunnies for your Easter cards, using them um, with little fish stamps, things like that. So it's not just the succulents. And any of the flowers, plants, succulents in any of my collections, you could also mix and match those. Just put these in. So we're just going to arrange them. I'll put the baby aloe over here. So I'm going to tuck that in. Look at that. Then we've got, uh, oh, I'll put this on the outside. So that's our little pot. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to add a ribbon to the front of it. Quite simple. It's just a little bit of uh, hessian twine. And we have our sentiment. So this is the plant pot tag. And it has the stamp. Sorry for being quickly. I just added um, a little button there on the side, but that's it. And that's how quick and easy it is simple for these to come together. Perfect, a great collection. And do you know what? I, I, was, I was like watching it going, I'm mesmerized by this. Uh, a lot of love saying this. Deborah, a succulents collection made a great change from flowers. I made a gift for my daughter with them. She said they were perfect, they won't die. And Shelly on YouTube, I love this collection. Uh, let me remind you what you're getting in this collection. There are so many different things. Um, again, I, I never realized how easy these were. These wonderful uh, succulents, I never realised how easy they were to do. This is what you're getting in this wonderful and beautiful, that is right, Erin, just like, just like you, my dear. Uh, yeah, uh, charmer. Uh, these are some of the succulents you get in the collection. You get in the little china, little china. Uh, you also get in the baby alone. Hello? Is it me? <laughs> Hello? Uh, neon breaker. You're also going to be getting in here the jade. And of course, that wonderful sword grass. I just want to touch it every time. And also, as well, Merry Maiden. That's not all. You're also going to be getting in this collection. You can get the stamps and dies, the succulents. Again, that's coming in there. Over 30 different elements. You're also getting the wonderful embossing folders. You're getting the terrarium. You're getting the garden frame. You are getting the geo wire trellis. Succulent frame. And you're also getting these, the plant pot, which, Jay, uh, which wonderful uh, Sharon shows you. There you are with the plant pot. You're also getting the labels and you're also getting the plant pot pokes as well. All within this collection. You are paying $34.99. $48.99, run that platinum price as well, £27.99, $39.19. Oh, uh, Deborah Rogers on YouTube, oh my love, I love how easy this is, I might need to buy this collection. Deborah, at today's price, it's the best ever price you're going to get this, I don't think it's going to last long with that incredible price, 70% off. Uh, also, so Sharon used it there, the red liner tape, 
Grateful doing things like this, the great construction. You've got it here on the red line type deal. Remember, you're getting two of each. You're getting two of the three mil. You're getting two of the six mil. And you're also getting two of the 12 mil. £13.50, $27.50. You're saving yourself over 25%. And also, the flower forming tools. Not necessarily uh, needed for the wonderful Sharon Callis products but if you want to do more of the flower forming this is going to be great to use you're paying 14 pounds 99 19 dollars 95 saving yourself over 30 percent and remember those clear pay installments at three pounds 75 remember as well if you are going well how do i do flower forming will you show me that guys there's loads of shows for you to watch back on youtube just head there on type in crafters tv and type in flower forming crafters tv i'm sure you'll find something save it into your playlist and you can watch your own personalized shows every single time uh we've got as well the butterflies and blooms six piece selection over 50 elements within this today for you guys uh, and a great deal 70 percent off on this 70 percent off now guys they are all available individually but at 17 pounds 99 24 dollars 99 what i'm going to show you now this is what you're getting for that ridiculously low price you're starting off here first of all with the uh mary poser butterfly you've all this but by the way this is 12.99 on its alone. So you're paying that price there for all of what I'm about to show you. This is $12.99 by itself, pounds. Uh, you're getting three dies within this. You're getting that wonderful uh, die there in the middle. You're also getting the outline die, and you're also getting the uh, fiddly die in the middle. I call it the fiddly die, but you know what I mean. You're getting the intricate die, the wonderful uh, butterfly with the wings which pop out as well, and the wonderful outline die to that background. That by itself is $12.99. You're also getting in here as well the Vanessa butterfly again, those three different dies, those three different elements. You're also going to be getting in here the wonderful, and I think it's fair to say by now, everything else is a, is a free within this section. You're also getting in here the wonderful, wonderful butterfly friendlies, dies and stamps within this collection. Also by itself, $12.99. So guys, you know what I mean? You are paying a ridiculously low price for everything in here. Plus as well, adding your Club Inspire discounts, wowza. You're also getting the thinking of you. Again, a great selection of dies. Two different dies in here, the outline die and the worded die as well for the sentiments. You're also getting the stamps as well with the butterflies, uh, the butterfly love. This is only one half of it because you're getting all the stamps and you're getting the dies to cut the stamps out as well with in the butterfly love and Sharon Cowles you see it doing there with the wonderful flowers again you're getting this here with the climbing rose again a great collection in different colors you'll be able to create that rose in all those different colors whatever you may wish a great collection I'm sure you agree and one absolute saving £17.99 $24.99 look at that price in platinum we were saying some of those dies by themselves are £13 so for, four, for £1.39 extra, you are getting that entire saving if you are Club Inspire, 20% uh, off. £14.39, $19.99 in Club Inspire. Loads, you cannot believe the price of that. And again, such a great collection. So much can be done with butterflies and with blooms. It's a six-pin selection, 50 elements. Sharon, again... <coughs> Bless me, I was hoping I was going to, I was hoping I'd rather save it until we got into Sharon and I can hold this. Uh, Sharon, another great collection. I, and I just love it. I don't think there's, everyone keeps telling me you live in a really beautiful place. And I just, I, I'm guessing there's a lot of inspiration taken from where you live into these designs. There, there is, yeah. I, mean, I live out in the countryside, you know, and you see a lot of nature, a lot of wildlife, and a lot of beauty every day. So, and who doesn't love butterflies? You know, so from time and memoriam, since I think since crafting never started, I think the butterfly is the mainstay of every crafting project. And I wanted to take my butterfly to the next level and give you extra elements to go with it. Perfect, and that's what that butterfly's done because I love how a lot of the dies have that liftable element with the wing, that lovely uh, work element within the die. So you've got some wonderful uh, examples. Show us what you've got there. Right, so this uh, sample here, this is, was the um, Vanessa, but I just wanted to explain, as you were saying about the liftable elements, in all the butterflies, the center of the wings lift, so I'll just bring that back. So that gives you more dimension as well. You have your little stamps with the outline dies, so this is used in the center just to give it that third layer, and of course you have your decorative frames on the outside. These have their own little inbox and uh, elements or placers for where you can put your gems. 
we've got sentiments that actually come with their own um, outline mat for them. So you can use them together or separate. And of course, then we have our little posies to go with that. So then we have, look at this. This is just simply the larger stamp. Stamp it, you cut it, you add little gems to the centers of these butterflies. There are little dots and areas specifically where you can fill with gems or fill with your colors. Create your background washes with your Spectrum Noirs and use the stamps as well for pattern. How about this? Look at this gorgeous um, home project just filled with the flowers and again the stamped butterflies and the sentiment. Then we have um, our tall card. So this is our Mariposa and I'm going to use this in a moment in a demo. But how gorgeous is that? Look at the length that it gives to the card and the nice framing for the butterfly. And here we have another example. But this is, if you can see the detail in this is brought out um, by inking. So there are embossed details in these two. And here's another one with um, embossed folder background. Quite simple. You just use the stamp and you use the sentiment, add your flowers. Or look at this, a different tone, a more sepia, a more of a vintage feel and look where the waste actually from the butterfly frame is used in the background. So not only can you stamp on these, but you can use the waste to make layers and other butterflies as well. Absolutely, a great collection and there's so much love for these as well. Loads of you just saying how much you love uh, Sharon Sentiment dies. And again, succulents, uh, sorry, not the succulents, the, the butterflies, uh, Treasure Hearts on YouTube, I love the flutter buys. Uh, June Woodhouse, a stonking bargains as well. Bless you, George, thank you. And Rachel saying, I always reach for Sharon Sentiment dies first. I just love them. A great collection, a great example. Uh, let's see these wonderful butterfly dies in action because do you know what? They are just incredible. Um, Sharon, I mean, what are you going to be showing us first? So I'm going to work with the Mariposa, and I'll just show you what you get in the package with that. So what you get is the first die that you get, it's um, the, the matting layer. So this is the base layer. You don't have to use this every time, but I'm going to just show you how this fits within the set and how you can cut. The second layer then, this is our decorative frame. This has its own outside edge, so this cuts independently from the background die, so you don't have to use the background die. And then lastly, we have our little butterfly. And the cut lines are in here as well. That's what gives you the lift. So I'm going to place that down. Do you know what, George? It would have been handy if I put the paper underneath it <laughs> or over it. <laughs> right, so just realign those. Uh, the magnetic mat is brilliant for this. So don't we just put our stamping card over this. You can use colored cards. I'm going to use the stamping card because I want to add a little bit of inking to the butterfly when it comes out of the, uh, the die itself. So these are great as well. You can make shaper cards because it will give you the little frame. And I'll show you why. But well, when you use all three together, you end up with this outline. That can be used on your shaker card. So. You can take the big outline die, cut that in this die here, cut that in acetate, cut out with this and place that over the acetate and that gives you your edge. I'm not going to use that at the moment, so I'll just put that to the side and that die. And here's another uh, waste we have from the centre, so don't throw that out. You can use that as well. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on the butterfly I'm going to leave it in the die for the moment and carefully I'm going to turn it over and that exposes areas on the back of the die that you can ink with. So I'm going to go with a bit of pink on this one. So I'm using the harmony, uh, the pink tulip and I'm going to, not too heavy, just enough to keep a tint onto what a Okay, so that one. And then we're going to take it out of the frame. You just give it a little push. It comes out very easily, that side. And then we give another push on this side. And then come around and lift that away. And 
take out any wastage in that. But, but you can see a little bit closer to the camera. You can see there where the ink brought out all the details. So just take out the wastage that's in that. And then we just put, lift up and we lift up the other wing. Now, what I'm going to do actually as well is I'm bringing this up another level and I'm cut out in some vellum. I'm going to layer that over. I'm going to layer the die cut over the vellum so that it has like a shadow underneath. So I'm just going to get my tape in. So the center of the vellum, you could of course put it together. But because I'm putting it on vellum, I'm going to give another crease to this one. Line it up. Um, up there, press it down, and what you have then is three layers. So you have a base layer, you have a lifted wing, and you have the center wings that come up quite high. That's the butterfly that we're going to use. Next, now we still have our frame that's inside, so we're going to do the same with this, lift it over. But I'm going to go in with a bit of green on this one, and I'm going to go with the spring meadow. Not a lot. I just want some on the outside pieces. Just little bits here and there. You just want a hint of a tint. You don't want to cover it. Right, so just enough. And then we're going to take that out of the frame. Just push that out. Yeah. So gently lift it out. And we'll have green where the little flower centers were. So we're going to put that to the side. Right, so that's the basics for cutting the, the butterfly out. And we're going to move on now to what I was saying to you earlier about the flower. And how you can use two-tone papers in your craft stash to create vintage looking flowers. So I'm just going to place the rolls down and fold each step with it. Now, in the pack, you also get this little die here, and that's the calyx. That's what you place under the rolls. It just hides all the working of the quilling and makes it a lot prettier. Look that up. Now, I've used um, Sarah's signature pad here from the hat. As you can see, you know, that's very similar. So that's green. Go to use that for my green. But here on this pattern, we've got a dark tone on one side, but we've got a light tone on the other. So this is going to give us a kind of vintage, like those packaged flowers that that you would see from time to time where they have two tones in them. It works with the vintage papers. If you try to do this with a bright tone, a, a stark blue and a deep red, um, you'll end up with rainbow flowers, but I don't think that they, they end up looking like flowers. Okay, so we're just going to take all these out. Take them out, and then we're going to take the rows. Back to the side. Now, and then we'll assemble the uh, rows, and I'll show you the. Oh, my tool is for a walk about. There it is. So we're going to take this out. Then we're going to add shapes to this. Now, we added ink to the last part, but this is where your stamping mat or and a ball tool comes in. So I'm using the smallest of the ball tools because it's big petals, or small petals. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with, like we had done with the ink, and we're only going to start on one side. So just adding some shape, because our stuff has a surface tension, and it's quite rigid. And when you're making little flowers, it's always best to work on the paper with a ball tool just a softness. So I'm going to flip that over and like with the ink, do it down the other side. Down we go. And then we're going to fold. So it's quite simple. So go along the crease and you can probably see the camera, you've got the dark petals behind the lighter tone. And we we'll use some red liner for this as well. So add some of that down the center. 
Whoop. It's running away on me, George. That's all right. I'm sure we can chase it back. <laughs> uh, loads of love for these. And loads of love for these offers as well. A lot of you can't believe the price of you. Um, Jill Craft on Facebook said, they, they, I couldn't resist this offer. I've been thinking of these since they first came out. But today was the day. It really was. And a lot of people look at how beautiful and how intricate these dies are. They really are a great collection and that ridiculously low price. Remember, a 70% saving there on all those different butterflies. £17.99, $24.99. Look at that Club Inspire price as well. Remember, if you're platinum, you get an extra 20% off. £14.39, $19.99. Some of these dies by themselves are near enough £13. For that extra £1.39, you're going to get the full entire collection if you are Club Inspire Platinum. It's just crazy the price you'll pay for those today. Uh, don't forget as well, the red line tape collection on the bottom of your screens there, you're getting two 12mm, two 6mm, and two 3mm at that great price as well. Back to you, Sharon. <laughs> Can I give you a tip with red liner tape? Go on, give me a tip. <laughs> Don't leave it near a radiator. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> because it is impossible <laughs> to get the, the backing off, but once it heats up, it's a nightmare. Okay, so, right, we're good. just going to curl up the little posy um, from the short petals to the top. And look at that. It's just a little bud. But when you spread these out now, I'll just try and bring it up a bit near. Do you see the two-tone in that? How beautiful that looks with the sepia papers. Beautiful. That is stunning. It, it, you know, it does work with those type of papers, but it's just a preference of mine. If people like deeper tones in their cards um, and their flowers, then go for it. Right, we'll just put that to the side. Right, we're going to have a little bit of fun with the card base. Now... I know I'm probably going to be teaching people how to suck eggs on this one, but it was a little um, trick that I learned years ago, and, you know, I end up using it weekly, I think. So we're going to make our card base out of a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. Now, this is the white from the from the uh, or texture cardstock pad, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half, And then I'm going to use the bone folder to crease it down. But I'm going to open it up and I'm going to fold it the other way. Now, oh, I've got a bit of ink on it, but don't worry about that. It's going to be covered. And then we're going to crease it this way as well. Okay, so. And now we're going to open it up and a long bone crease facing you and towards the middle we're going to split that so just follow the curve or the crease the crease to the center and then we're going to fold it back but then we're going to lift it up and fold it in all right now i know that looks a little bit crazy but bear with me now so make sure that so what we're going to do is you see the center bit here on the crease we're going to glue them together. I'll just use the tape pen for speed. So what happens then is we're going to bend this back. And then we're going to bend it back just to get the crease into it, right? So what we'll end up with is a card that looks like that. But the great thing about this is when you lift it off, you have an inside. So that you can write your sentiment to people rather than trying to hide it, you know, in under the crease or in under the fold here. So we're going to decorate from the inside out. So right in the center, all I've done is I've just got some colored card stock and laid it over with some white stamping card. Just place that down. So that's where you write your sentiment. So we close that over and we just basically ignore that now. That part is done. So on the front part here now for this uh, twisted easel, we I have taken some of the from the heart star signature pad, absolutely gorgeous pad, absolutely love it. And we're going to uh, just mash and layer again. It's just on some coloured card stock, um, but I've add, I've distressed the edges of it a little bit. 
actually sat in the center. Right, so that's the inside. And then we come to the outside here. And what I've done is I have cut triangle. Because this is going to fold, you need to ensure that these are triangle so that you can get the crease. So take off the second tape. And this is just, it, it's quite simple when you get the hang of it. And you can watch back this tutorial or hit me up online if you want to know how that was done again. And then, like I said, I distressed the edge of uh, the paper. I've done it with a scissors. Don't ever grip it all the way around. Just hold it on the point here to protect your fingers. And it's quite simple. I'm just nicking at the edge of the paper. Not too rough because you can, you can overdo it. I just want to light stressing just to feather the edge of the paper. Sharon, you mentioned uh, social media. If people want to keep up to date with everything Sharon Callis, what do they need to do? What do they need to type in? Well, um, I have a Facebook group, Sharon Callis Creative Crew. They can come and join us there. Or you, they can just find me under Sharon Callis Crafts on all the social medias. And they're looking around. And they, I have a website, SharonCallisCrafts.com. So there's plenty of ways to get in touch with me. Uh, but if you join our group, there's members of the design team in there who are more than happy to help you with any queries. And they share their samples and we have pins and tips and we have a bit of fun or a bit of crack, as we say over here. <laughs> the group. <laughs> Love it. So this is our card base. So you see that will twist up like that. Okay. So remember earlier we were talking about this die. Well, that, what I've done is I've cut it out in patterned paper. And on top of that, then, I'm going to layer the frame. So normally I would put this maybe through um, your Xyron machine or use maybe, you know, the adhesive A4 sheets and cut them out together. But I'm just going to dab this on with a bit of glue right there. And then we're going to line that up over. So start at the bottom. Once you align the bottom two petals really, the rest of it kind of falls into place. Just give that a press down. So you can see there with, with the frame, the impact that that will have on the uh, center itself. And then we're going to get our butterfly. Just a little bit of lift for the butterfly. So I'm going to use a foam pad on the rear. So again, I'm going to fold down the vellum because that's really like our shadow and lift up the other one. So line that up in the center. Of course, you don't have to put the butterfly in. You can stamp a sentiment in the center if you want to put the butterfly to the side. So what we're going to do, I'm going to add this to the card. So it's going to be top of the card, but what you need to be mindful is when you stand it up, that it's, it's great. So just a little bit of the uh, Tape in on the back of this. Yeah. On the bottom, you don't need any on the top. So I'm going to place that down, line it up. And then when I open up the card, it turns up. But I want to put in the sentiment. So over the sentiment, over. You get more foam pads for this one. Get two smaller ones. All right. So the sentiment in this one using the sending love, again, that has its own um, mat or layer for that. Now, look at these flowers. So here are our painted flowers. And I'm going to use the 3D gel to secure these. So I'm going to place one here. Now, you don't have to put one on this side because you... That won't be seen once you open up the card. So just add a little bit of curve to your flowers and your foliage. Put that there. And then we pop this one down. And then I've got a few little buttons. I love adding buttons to projects. So we're just going to dot them around in the tones of the uh, butterfly. And green one. I'm going to put that one here. But then when you open up your card, you want to have a little stopper. So I'm going to use this, uh, well, actually, I'm going to go with peach. So 
So just put a little bit of glue down, put your little button in, allow that to dry, but this is your card here. I'll hold that up for you. Sharon, I absolutely, I absolutely love that. And I love buttons on cards. I know it's that, I just love it. Um, my cousin's got a big phobia of buttons, but she, I absolutely adore them. <laughs> I love that. Uh, again, it's such a pretty design from June on Facebook. We'll have to get mine out of the drawer and have to play at Treasure Heart. No questions. I'm simply enjoying watching Sharon create and show you down Facebook. Yes, I love the butterfly. It's the best. It is a crafting staple. I feel like that should be like, if you are a crafter, you have butterflies running through your body.